Haha, I tricked you, it's a plain video now. I've brought my camcorder battery bank abomination to Joe Davies Air Park in Palmdale, California. I thought I'd give you some quick facts about some of the aircraft here, filming 1997 vacation style. I also have an action cam taped to the front to get some 4K wide shots to, you know, complement the VHS. As you can see, I am powering my camcorder with the battery. First up, here's an F-86. This is one of the earliest jet fighters the US ever used, and it battled MiG-15s in the Korean War. It was also piloted by Jackie Cochran when she became the first female pilot to break the speed of sound. Here's a great photo of her with Chuck Yeager. This is a T-38 Talon. You might recognize this jet as being a NASA chase plane for the space shuttle. This photo shows Columbia landing in New Mexico, chased by two Talons. The fighter version of this aircraft, parked next door, is called the F-5 and was used as a stand-in for the fictional MiG-28 in Top Gun. Painted black, of course. That means they're evil. Speaking of Top Gun, this is the first of the modern teen series of fighters, the F-14 Tomcat most famous for getting into flat spins and buzzing the tower. It was actually a revolutionary aircraft in the day. It was named Tomcat to stay in line with prior Navy aircraft like the Wildcat, the Hellcat, and the Tiger Cat. Yeah. The last of which was planned to have the name Tomcat, but was changed to Tiger Cat due to sexual connotations of the name Tomcat? I guess that makes sense if you've seen Top Gun. That movie is very homoerotic. Speaking of homoerotic, just kidding, this is a B-52 bomber. It started production in 1952, making it one of the longest serving aircraft in the US Air Force, since 2021 is its 69th year in service. During the Cold War, there was an idea to have these super long range bombers in the air at all times. Between 1960 and 1968, a minimum of 12 B-52s just like this one were in the air, all at once, all carrying nukes. This was called Project Chrome Dome and was apparently a deterrent, though it led to quite a few broken arrow incidents, aka times when nukes were accidentally dropped or lost. That's scary stuff. Now this is the real main event. This is N911NA, one of two NASA 747s designed to carry the space shuttle, one of the coolest aircraft ever built. You can see what modifications were made to make it capable of carrying the shuttle. Obviously the interior was stripped for weight and the frame was reinforced. We also see these brackets which match the connections between the shuttle and its external booster. Additional vertical stabilizers were also added to the tailplane to make up for the fact that the shuttle blocks the big one. You can see similar stabilizers on the Russian AN-224, also used to carry their Buran shuttle. What an astonishing machine. Yes. Oh, I was going to wait till you were done. I didn't realize you were going to do it again. 